Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Mr. Grable's Grade 3 Math Class. Check out my castle. Hmm. No, it's not a castle. It's actually a shrinking pattern. Here we go. Donk. 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 And there you go. Oh, I could do it one more time. Donk. Now, it's time to do exploring decreasing or shrinking patterns from page 10. Okay, so if you watch closely, boys and girls, I started with, remember you always have to have a starting point, 14 blocks. 14. Then what did I do each time? Oh, there's a rule. I took off three each time. So I went from 14 to 11, and then from 11 to eight, and then from eight to five, and then from five down to two. And then I can't shrink anymore because I don't have three. So that is an introduction to exploring decreasing patterns. Lots of fun. We've been doing uh, increasing patterns, going forward and getting bigger and larger. Now we have to get used to shrinking patterns or decreasing or getting smaller. Okay, so unit one, lesson six, page 10, exploring decreasing patterns. Just kind of showed you the quick review. And now let's check out 1A. It says draw the next two figures in each decreasing pattern. So again, the two most important things, the pattern rule and the starting point, right? Same as with the increasing patterns. So I know they don't have this, they don't even ask you to do this, but it will help. How many are in figure one? Three, six, nine. I like to put that nine just because I love to see the numbers. So that's my starting point. Okay, and you don't actually have to put this, it doesn't say you have to, but I'm putting it in there anyway. Because I know if I got the starting point and the pattern rule, I can do the rest easily. <laughs> now, what happens to the next figure? Well, there's nine, now there's three, six, seven, there's eight. Oh, well, I think I know the pattern already. But just in case, let's keep going. They do give you figure three. There's three, six, seven. I'm pretty sure we know, right? Now your job is to draw the next two figures. So I already did that because I'm almost positive they keep taking one away. So now I have six here and I drew this one and that's five. And it makes sense, right? They keep taking nine, eight, seven, six, five. There we go. So obviously 2A says the pattern, look at the patterns in question one, write the pattern rule for each. Now it's not plus, it's subtract one is the pattern rule. There we go. Give two a try. I know you can do this. It's the beginning of shrinking, decreasing, getting smaller patterns. Just the opposite of increasing. Make that connection. Have a great day. Bye-bye.